This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Let's just get the day started. The news is starting to get kind of back to normal. Uh, we still don't have too many. Yeah, we, we kind of told you everything that we know about the, the Mo3 incident. They're probably searching for the guy right now that was, you know, pushing him kind of off the highway um, when he was on the highway. Obviously, somebody followed him onto the highway, pushed him off the highway, had him pull over. The other person pulled over. He started running in the other direction. Because, yeah, what are you going to do? You're both going in the same direction on the highway. You can't get off the highway. And if this guy has a weapon next to you, you're going to, you know, he, he got out and tried to run away. And unfortunately, him and an innocent bystander got um, struck, and we know the result. So uh, I'll update you guys on that once they find somebody. Obviously, you know, they're going to find somebody because somebody also, not only him, but also an innocent bystander was struck. So, and plus, you, you endangered a lot of people by opening up on the highway like that, you know? So crazy. Uh, Big U reacts to King Von. Now, people say that Quando Rondo's Big U's, like, little homie. Like, but I don't know about that. I think that Big U just gives anybody advice that's coming up. I, I respect Big U a lot. I mean, this is a guy that uh, has been through a lot, been through a lot of things in hip-hop. Uh, he's very well-respected and gives back to his community. Um, was very instrumental in Nipsey's career, like, pretty much the whole thing in the beginning launched it um and you know i have a lot of respect for him and he reacted to this like this on everything that people saying so oh so this talking about the young brother yes um sorry to the family i mean not sorry but respect to the family this um yeah the um king von the young the young brother the young soldier Lost his life, yeah. It's always hard to see that. Always hard to see that. Oh, that's what uh... Yeah. I mean, but we gotta stop. We, 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 we at some point, man, gotta stop hurting ourselves. I don't know the whole story, so I don't know. I don't know. No parts of the story, but what I've been hearing, because I've been out the loop of the internet and doing doing some other stuff, some stuff related to to my family and business. So I really had kind of been on a social media hiatus like the last couple of days. Um, but so, nah, man, I don't know. I don't now he goes on to say that you know we have to, we need to you know help younger people understand. That, you know, there's no coming back from certain things. And, you know, he's been through a lot. He's been to jail. He's been through, he's been through all the mistakes. So he's really somebody you should listen to. And, you know, I saw the, both of the videos. You know, King Von ran up on Kwando, punched him, and then it turned into a, a bad, you know, it went left within 30 seconds, you know. So, uh, yeah, you know, all that kind of stuff when keeping it real goes wrong, you know, and King Von, I, I really uh, feel bad about to his family and everybody, but like, these are what these kids know, you know, these are what these young men know, okay, defending your ego and your honor, and sometimes that results in leaving this earth, and that's not, that's not good, it, it, things gotta change, man, you know, that's all I'm saying. Uh, Asada Baby reacted to T.I.'s comments and said he should probably should stay out of it. T.I. started retracting his comments about, you know, don't come to Atlanta and, you know, did t and bring your beefs here, you know, and then and take people out. Um, Asada Baby said, you know, he I saw him retracting it and saying it wasn't for King Von, but he could have waited a week to put that post up. And he's right. And he even criticized one of his homies from Michigan that was making fun of the situation. He said, and he checked him like, yo, it's too early. Save that for next week or a week after. This man just, you know, lost his life, you know. Can't joke about that kind of stuff, you know. A lot of people are, are sorting through this mess right now. And, um, you know, it's just, it, it's a, that's what it is. It's a mess, you know. It's a mess. Uh, you know, we saw 50 Cent check T.I. and everything. T.I. was bugging. Yeah, and... Yeah, I was bugging 
for, for, for talking about it, talking about it in that way. Um, next up, 50 Cent reacts to the new administration, uh, the way they're going to handle shutdowns. They're going to try to try to replicate what Europe did. We did this here already, and it doesn't really help that much. Uh, I don't think anybody has the answers on this. Um, they have a vaccine coming. You know, we should probably wait for that. But doing a six-month shutdown again is like, come on. M- most people are teetering on losing everything already. And if you send these, if you put these, and he, and, and he also wants to borrow more money. If you keep borrowing more money, printing money, with, and just giving it to people, the value of our dollar drops. It affects the bond market. It's very complicated. A whole domino effect happens if you keep borrowing money. Okay, our economy will fall. The dollar will fall. It's just you know, and you can say, well, it's to save you know forty thousand, fifty thousand, hundred thousand people. It won't because in the end. The same amount of people will be affected out in the street and will something else will take them, you know, because if you don't have a way to provide for your family, there's no way they can give people enough money to provide for your family every month. They can't give everybody three, four thousand dollars a month. They can't. So, you know, I'm sorry. It's just. There, nobody has the answers. I'm not criticizing anybody because they're doing this around the world. And it doesn't seem to work, you know? Like, it just goes back up again. It's kind of like, I don't know. I'm not even going to go there. And then we got uh, Boosie reacting to the Mike Tyson interview. He says, says he seems like he had an agenda. Uh, this interview was nine months old. And, you know, his daughter was passionate about this. And he went in on me over it. And I answered all his questions, asked him questions. Then his daughter came at me over it. And uh, I answered her questions, but also came back at her why I, I feel that way. She got frustrated. And then me and Mike Tyson pieced it out. He said it was it was a weird interview. It was very weird. It was a weird interview if you watch it. But anyways, I hope you guys stay safe regarding, you know, what's going on with this whole thing. Make sure you, you know, wash your hands, wear a mask, protect yourself. And you don't have to, if you feel like, this is what I, this is what I always tell people. If you feel like it's dangerous or something to go out and go shopping or go get a haircut or go somewhere, you don't have to go. Nobody's telling you, you have to go. You can stay home and be safe, you know? And that's my point, like... If you need to be safe, like, because you have pre-existing and everything, stay home. Get your groceries delivered. You know, I, I, you got to, you know, like, it, you have a choice. That's my point, you know, like, you can't force everybody to do one thing, you know. It's like, it's almost been a year now. You know that, right? Like, we're coming up on a few more months and it's going to be a year. A year ago, we were getting, um, we were getting reports from Asia about this so we're almost at a year crazy anyways just be safe that's all i can say wash your hands wear a mask be safe just be safe as safe as you can okay make good decisions okay that's how you protect yourself and that's all you you can only worry about yourself all right guys peace